Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, some very disturbing news has uh, just come come before me, and that is Asian and Asian businesses are being targeted by criminals here in Oakland because of how ineffective Oakland police officers are, and there's slow response times. There's slow 911 dispatch or uh, pickup times. Even myself, I'm, I'm very frustrated with the city of Oakland as a, a new business owner trying to set up a business. My business has been hit five times in three weeks and we don't have anything. We have trash in the yard that we're clearing out from uh, the previous business that used to be here uh, and they abandoned everything. And so we're clearing everything out. Um, really, this what's in the yard has no value. You know, we've even tried uh, seeing if anybody wanted, wanted the stuff for free and nobody wanted it. So uh, criminals have done nearly $10,000 of damage to my perimeter fence. Uh, they've uh, come over the fence and uh, engaged in a shootout. They, they started a shootout with us. And when we returned fire, um, that's when they ab abandoned their attack because now all of a sudden uh, they're thinking that this business isn't going to fight back and that they can come in and do whatever they want. Well, no. Um, three of them came over the fence uh, last week and on a, at 4 a.m. in the morning and, and uh, they came in shooting. They came in hot. And, and so uh, my assistant who had been uh, out in the yard uh, on the patrol on guard duty with his dog, uh, uh, when they came over, they were literally shooting at him. And I heard the shooting. I came out and uh, backed him up and, it, and we were able to repel the three criminals. Uh, it, it wasn't a very long shootout, but uh, we did expend around 40 rounds here. Uh, between the both sides and, and we also set off the shot spotter across the street where OPD showed up about 15 minutes later well after everything's done and gone and, and you know start questioning us about what we have and so we said we don't have anything you want to come in and see and, and we literally showed them the inside of the building there's not a damn thing in here other than us trying to stay warm uh, and we're trying to set up for our new aquaculture business. It's not even growing weed. We're growing Pacific white shrimp. We're growing live food. And, and so we haven't even started that yet because we're still waiting for the equipment to show up. And then we still have uh, at least three to four months of setup uh, putting in the filtration system so that we can pass the, the state uh, uh, filter plant uh, operation and get our permit for that because that's the whole key to the aquaculture uh, business is getting that filtration system up and, and because uh, it's a filter plant, <laughs> it's regulated. And, and so that's one of the slow, slow parts of, of setting it up. But anyway, the criminals uh, there this morning, they attacked uh, uh, a restaurant business owner chased him down, banged his car. They and uh, they man made him flip his car over on Lakeshore this morning in front of uh, a church. And he was his car's totaled out. He was barely, fairly uh, well shaken up. And he also said that they had once they had him upside down and helpless. You know, they had him. Uh, with the AK-47 to his head and took everything that of value that was there in his car. So there's a lot of robberies going on. Uh, what uh, business owners are just going to end up having to do is arm themselves like I am. You know, I'm armed all the time. I'm, I'm armed when I'm walking around in my business inside the warehouse. I'm armed when I go out on the street and I'm armed when I'm in the yard. Uh, and Oakland police do nothing. They literally don't do anything. And, and this has been going on 
you know, for us for three weeks and, and nothing's been done. And, and one of the things that I can tell you that these are Hispanic roaming crews. They are Hispanic. And then the other crews are black. But a majority of the, the ones that are hitting um, here in East Oakland are Hispanic. And, and how do I know they're Hispanic? Because the crew of 12 that uh, destroyed my main front gate that caused me $10,000 of a repair bill to that, everybody there was Hispanic. Uh, and I know that because the lookouts did not have any masks, but they were armed. I, I was severely outgunned by them. Uh, and the only way that I would have uh, engaged them, like I told the police, is if they made a run at me to try and rush me, then I would have had no choice but to empty my, my weapon on them. They saw me, they saw my weapon, and they also saw my dog. So uh, they know that this place has uh, somebody in here all the time. They didn't know that we're armed. And last week I shot one. Uh, when they were uh, running uh, because we were returning fire, as he was clearing the fence, I shot him in the ass. Yeah, I, I knocked a chunk of his ass off because something went flying off. Uh, as he uh, hit the peak of the, the fence and was um, rolling over the, uh, the top half of, of the neighboring fence to the uh, empty building across the yard from us. And so anyway, I did hit him. Uh, we got blood. Uh, so we know that it was a good solid hit uh, from me. And, and <laughs> I don't think they're going to be back real quick because a 45 ACP round hollow point you know, you know, I blew a, blew a chunk of his butt off. Now, they're not going to come back very quickly. Uh, and, but we're hoping that uh, uh, there's enough injury where he's going to check into a hospital uh, sometime, somewhere. And then once he dies, a uh, gunshot wound to the ass, you know, that's going to set up all the red flags and, and have the police arrest him. Uh, so anyway... It's been kind of quiet since then uh, for uh, a week now, and we're hoping that it stays that way. A and that's because we literally had to shoot somebody in order to, to stop the nonsense and, and all the attacks that are going on. And so uh, Asian business owners, you may need to arm yourself at all times. A and Hispanic uh, business owners in the fruit vale they're getting hit by black crews so things are are not good here in the city of oakland and the city of oakland is, is has been pretty helpless uh, and there's been i've been making suggestions on how we can increase drastically increase uh the uh, community safety officers and this is by employing armed security guards and getting them uh, the, the special training that they need so that they have the powers to arrest people uh, when necessary. But the most important thing is the ability with them having uh, the courses and, and the instructions needed for policing work. They can now be deputized and uh, be added uh, in a special community uh, policing fund uh, that does not cost the taxpayers. It costs only the uh, the servicers, the service requesters in the district. And so we we would be. I had suggested uh, these units in each of Oakland's just seven districts, and um, employing up to sixty security officers in each office that is supervised by the Oakland Police Department. And these are, are uh, safety, community safety officers that are armed. They are already gun approved and they already have their uh, gun license and they have their weapons and, and they have uh, worked in security uh, work uh, for at least a year. And so by giving them uh, also, the additional training, we can uh, employ them as 
deputized law enforcement officers. So that was one of the suggestions. Does it won't take long to put something like that together and in place. Uh, they would also be issued the same radios that the Oakland Police Department would be uh, using, and so they would be able to use those same radios and access uh, uh, calls to Oakland Police, put out calls, descriptions, and, and have arresting powers. And so that's the the quickest way that we can resolve the the low manpower in uh, our policing force by utilizing uh, existing uh, uh, candidates uh, for this operation. But folks, it's dangerous here in Oakland uh, and Asian folks are being targeted. Asian businesses are being targeted because you know, they know we have the money and also that they're going to see less resistance because we're the model community. We're the model community, meaning that we're, we're compliant and we don't fight back. Well, I got news for, for the criminals. This business fights back and we will shoot and we will win. And you're going up against some, some heavy duty forces here if you uh, come over our fence. So hopefully everybody stay safe during the holiday season here. Um, I don't know what Oakland's going to do, but this is a, a major failure in uh, the admin city administrator's uh, office, meaning that Oakland Mayor Shane Tao isn't worth a crap. She has not done her job. She has not kept people safe. Uh, she keeps running her mouth about all these different programs that she's implementing, but we're not seeing results. We're still seeing uh, business owners and businesses being harmed, robbed at gunpoint, and now even being threatened you know, with car chases now and being shot at. I've been shot at. But the difference is I have 20 years of experience being shot at and also 20 years of experience fighting terrorists. And that's what, who these are. These are terrorists. These are, are wannabe terrorists. And they are up against one of the best in the business here at repelling people and removing them. So everybody stay safe. Happy holidays. Hope to hear, hear from you and hope to be here in the new year for you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa, everybody.